It's really simple. Like, I swear to God, bro. If I played any other character that I would play in this game, it's just JP. I swear. I'm not even gonna think about any other character. Because I actually, this is, one, this is the only character that I don't play. And I feel like my understanding on how to play this fucking character is so high. And I don't play the motherfucker. Like, it, it's like, it's like calling my name to play him. Every day. It's like somebody, like a ghost outside the fucking door keeps saying that shit. I don't want to fucking play him. But, I'm saying, in general, like, this matchup is really straightforward. Because this, this is the epitome of 5-5 five, five matchup, too. This is the epi epitome of 5-5 five, five matchup. Like, I see, there's always this, right? Obviously, JP throws this here. This is the equivalent of you doing a ghost or a spike, you know? Whatever. Let's just call this, like, Pierce, okay? Pierce. Ghost. Okay, the, the other one, alright? This is the equivalent of doing those two. And regardless if the startup is slight, this one's slightly faster and less recovery. But that's the equivalent. This is it. So think about this as like a faint ghost, okay? So put that in your mind. That's how it is, okay? Just think about that, okay? So this is a, a semi-committing move that can potentially get jumped in. Okay? Same shit. If you would have thrown a fucking faint ghost there, you would have fucking got kicked in the face. But whatever. That's the same. That's the same thing. And Kakuru, when I watched his shit, I was like, wow, he actually understands that this is the same as this. So he does the other thing, which is crouching medium kick, crouching medium punch, drive brush, you know? Standing fears, right? And this is something that he does so well, too. That. Like, look at this shit. It's so insane. And I know most people don't think like this is amazing, but bro, to have the confidence to walk forward here. And gain ground like this this is huge this this is huge in general for a zoner that's huge because now you're not cornered you're not gonna get bullied you have space see how like he did even micro walk there see how he micro walk now he back dash walk forward punish it okay good my dag is throwing fireballs mind you dag is throwing fireballs bruh every time you throw fireballs here it doesn't, it, you don't, it does nothing happens. You gotta oppress this man. Hey, jab. Yeah, that's what you do. See, see, most, most damage comes from the kicks. Right? Mm -hmm. Sweep. Done. Oh, he committed. Nice. It's the beginning of the end right here. Interesting. Why did he DI there? That's right. Round two. Just remove Daigo's panties right there. Nothing much to talk about there. His panties got removed. Ouch. You notice most Daigo's damage then doesn't come from the fireballs. Like, see, this gives him even more opportunities to do this shit. And look, he could have easily drive rushed there too. Punish. Like. Man, this is such a. This is such a good situation for. This is also what I've noticed. The JP versus Ken matchup. If both players have very low resources, right? If and then both have super but low drive rush and drive meter, it's hard a lot harder for Ken than for JP. I swear. So you kinda want it to be a low low resources kind of game. Oh dead. Drive rush? Oh that's a good idea. Fuck! 
there's really nothing you can do there too. It's a low econ kind of game. This is it's so weird. How they play this. I say that Daigo one here. This is a good one, the Daigo one. Yeah, you should be holding crouching medium punch on the, on the drive rush. The problem there is that if they do drive rush... So have you seen the Nemo tech against the drive rush? And then they, they stop. The Ken, the Ken will do drive rush, then stop and do Dragon Bash. Have you seen that tech? Have you seen it, right? That's good. Okay, good. That's a, that that seals that hole for that one one instance. So so obviously the counter to there would be like drive rush jab by Ken to inch in and then drive rush. Right? Drive rush jab wait. Right, you know? Or walk in. Drive rush jab jump. Like, you know, those are the counters to that other stuff, to the other branch of things. Yeah, dude, I swear, if you just, if you don't, if you just play it like here, like this range, and play it like a wall, but up close, that's really hard for Ken, like, like here, if you play it within, like, outside of your 2MK, like, it's such a hard, it's such a hard range for Ken to fight. Like there, or here, it's really hard. Oh god, you messed it up. It's okay. Wait, that's 7 frames? How fast is that super? That's a 7 frame recovery. That has to be 7 then. Let me see, I have a frame data here. 6, oh okay, makes sense. Damn, that's a fast super, holy shit. Done. That's not even clean win too. Oh. That's usually an input error, right? This matchup is so amazing. It's so balanced. And they're so different in archetype. It's so crazy. Like the depth that they have of these, of these two characters is so insane. And, but we're currently right now, JP's ahead. But then there was a time when Ken was slightly ahead and then he became JP. But this matchup is clearly 5 5. That's not a real game. There's a lot of mistakes there. It's like not real. Let's just watch a Kaku win. Yeah, sir. This this game, this this matchup that they play, it's like I mean, I watch Angry Bird too. It's like it's so crazy how 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 he does it. Yeah, you just play it here. You just play it here with two MK and. So, okay, let me explain to you. Why do you want to keep it here, in this range? Like here, okay, here to here. You're outside of a standing roundhouse, right? On the jumps, you have perfect crouching pierce. It would never whiff. You have access to your fake ghost, and he can, you, will, you will create them to react, right? Like, obviously, this is where you want to play most of the time, unless, you know, you're trying to close the game, which is like where they're burnt out and you have a super. You know, that, that's a different scenario. But I'm saying, like, in general, you sure you want to play it here. Most JPs don't play it here unless it's a top JP. They play it in this range. And you play ground game with Ken. Because there's no point in zoning him as much. You fly, you fight him here. Street Fighter. Here. You just fight him here. And why do you want to play him here? Because he doesn't have the mix of the drive rush full screen. Oh, this is good. This is so crazy. It makes him want to play JP. And then deal with the growing pains because it's usually gonna take two weeks to suck and then you understand and then you have to learn every matchup again but i don't want to play jp because i'm almost there with my dalsim so i don't have to switch
Yeah, hey, like if you play him here, in general, you have access to this, right? If they if, if they walk in forward, you have access to this. And you have that. You have this. Then you have this. So you want to play it here. So if they engage, which he would, you're per it's a perfect distance for everything, I swear. Okay, why would you want to do that there? Is because anything that Ken does here... that range like this range right now you have access to any any every punish you want right like you have access to anything here how do we have drive our shit like so what you need to practice is if he does that like if he does the drag, the 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 whatever you call that, the dragon lash, you parry, right? Or if you do that, you just do this. Oh, I'm sorry, you just press a button. This is hella good. That's why you want to stay here, because he's not gonna be able to compete with you. I swear. If you watch Cockroo, that's how he does it. I swear. Every time, it's here. It, 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 that's why he walks forward and then fucking fights him here. Because the distance of walking is too perfect. But you know what? You get it, right? You get it, right? Like, why he does this? Like, because it's perfect. And also, you get the most damage here in this range as well. It's actually pretty insane. It's actually pretty cool. He's not zoning. He's not doing this thing. You know? The rest is just parry. You should have a drill. You should have a drill. Like, if he does that... You punish. If he does that, you parry or, you know. Obviously, you can do this. But this requires more of your mental stack to do this. That means they, got, they, got, they, they gotta be predictable. You know? I guess this one beats it too. I OS this shit all day. Look at this shit. Do you OS it with this? Do you OS? You should OS with, with that drive rush. Cancel. So insane. Yeah, 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 there should be I. You just do this. And then you OS. I, I swear to God, I saw a combo. I think it's like this. Oh, like that. Holy shit. This is crazy, how you get that? Wait, how come we didn't combo that time? How did I do that? Oh, it's range? Oh... I swear he did that like what the fuck? That's just crazy. But yeah. But bro, I swear, if you play that range against Ken, it's GG already. Cammy's kinda easier now. The more I the more and more I watch it. The more the more and more I watch Cockroach play it, I was like, man, this guy's insane. The way he does it is so crazy. Like he does a lot of cool things. That's and it's not necessarily it's not necessarily the the tech. It's his ground game. It's his footsies. Is what separates it. Like he actually has a ground game, which is rare for most JP players. Damn, dude, that's just crazy. Do you see that? Look at this. 
He's full screen, right? He fucking walked in towards Ken, bro. And he's JP. That's just sick. Look, he, because he wants to keep that range. That, I'm, I'm keep telling you, that's the range that he would fight Ken. Is that range? So regardless, that's his win condition, and he sticks to it. See, he sticks to it. It's really straightforward too. Look, sticks to it. Dead. No, no, he understands. He understands. That's the win condition. He sticks to it. No. Look, he plays with Ken here. Look, a bunch of feints, right? Look. Messed that up, okay? But you see the mindset. Lucky Perry. Okay. I'm telling you this shit right now. Like to parry that consistent, that is not sustainable. There's no way you can parry that 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 well every time. No, it can't be every time. Like, cause he got like he he, he went hot. Okay, cause like, to perfect parry something, it's like you get you ba basically have like one out of fucking four, right? Right? You know, around that. Okay, so to perfect parry that much in a row, that means you ran hot. Or your opponent got too predictable doing the same thing. He fi they fixed the setup a little bit, but it's still 60 hertz. Look, look how he walks forward. Look. So, so that's what you just need to practice. Because if you get good at this, if you're JP, like you're ahead already against the field, especially in your area. Like seriously, you already got all the other shit with your JP. You just need to get that down. Tammy is very good, but she's not, she doesn't have anything easy. Like you feel like you're gonna just win because she got something strong. She's strong, but she's like honest strong. If that makes sense. You want to play something like that? Just play jury. Like look, she walk. He walks forward. Tries to parry there, right? Makes sense. I think I have a I think I have a tech for that actually. Let me see if I can remember it. I I, I was working on that the other day. I do this. I do Ken first, and then character is JP. Like this is an event that you didn't get to parry the Dragon Lash. I think so. Let me see. What did I do here? So based on math, it makes sense. Things like this. Or three. I think it's four. So... I think. I think. Let me see if it's four. So like... Say if you're JP, you blocked it. You do a four frame back dash, right? So you block. Oh, they didn't move? Wait, how come they didn't move? Did it work? Oh, it doesn't even move. What the fuck? Block. Block reversal. Oh, I put the count. Shit. Never mind. Four frame. Block. 
What the fuck? Do something. Uh, excuse me. What did I put before? Is it four? Plus one, five. Oh, it has to be three. Because I'm plus one. I think so. I think it's three. I did this the other day. I forgot the number, but I did. It's not working now. I had two options here. What's it doing that? Is it five? Doesn't work. It makes sense though, math, right? No, 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 Bane, I, I beat that with the other option. Look, let me tell you. Look at this. Let me show you. Let me show you. I, I'm just doing the fancier version. This is the one that beats both. The one that's like less damage. Less damage. I mean, okay, when I say this is like, there's payment, but you you don't get the max payment, basically. So if you're gonna guess, you might as well do this. Okay, do not, obviously, this is what people do, okay? They do LaTeX four to six frames, right? Okay, this is what people do. Okay, this is what everybody does. Uh, normal throw, turn it on, like this, right? And then they die, right? Okay, or they do this. Hey, that's what happened to motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I was doing these two. Sh I was doing this. Frame one. Look at this. Mm. You gotta play like a scrub. It beats three out of four. He only loses to the jab. I understand there's a risk for everything, but that one at least beats 3 out of 4. I think that's good. I swear. There's a time and place for that shit. But then the other ones, you just do jab. I'm saying... I'm saying is, I understand it's, there's a payment. But the fact that you beat 3 out of 4 is good. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying like... And then you're not taking the max damage as well. Like, you're not taking that. You're not taking the max damage. That's fucking good. But, but, I get it. Where's the back dash? No, it's the jump. I think it's the jump. Yeah, the jump back tech. I think that's what it is. No. Yeah, it does beat it now. See? That's the one. See? Does. Yeah, that's the one. I was not thinking right. But yeah, that's the one you gotta do. Three frame jump back tech. Beats bolt. But there's no, there's no payment. You feel me? Like, that's pretty good. But, you kinda... It's delayed jump back. But it has to be specific three frames. But that's easy to do. 
That's like Street Fighter V, Season 1. We already did that. So, that's pretty good. Yeah, but that's in the event that you didn't you didn't parry it, you know? At least you have a backup. I think did Kaku starts doing drive reversals too? Because I've seen him do a drive reversal. When he has to guess after this. After blocking this, he just drive reversal. Oh, the kick. I think kick. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. This. But that is how you do it. I think I do run again. I think that's a combo. Sorry. I don't really play this guy. to do that But yeah, you can just do that, and then keep the mid-range, and you're good after that. I, I, I think most of your opponents are gonna be Ken players. And JP Mirror, that you need to practice. I don't know how good you are in JP Mirror. That one, that's on you. But the Ken matchup, shouldn't lose to that one. <laughs> 